further in our discussion, we are saying that we are just moved now from the role of international organization in the education, the development of or supporting the educational technology. This is very, very important. You must really grasp that one. So now going further in the unit, we are talking about education technology in Zambia's higher education. How did this education technology now moved into the higher educational institution? Higher institution like uh, University of Zambia, you know, Copa Belt University, okay? How did it start? So the contribution of the institutions of higher learning in the area of education technology is worthy to note. E-learning, so those that were unable to attend class during study, these were to continue online. So what we saw there was uh, distance education, online systems were introduced, and then, and this e-learning removed a lot of barriers, okay? It removes a lot of barriers, and a lot of people, okay, were allowed to move all over the world to finish their courses, because they are online courses that were done. University of Zambia is one of the institution, a higher learning institution that has been introducing the online systems or online courses. Yeah, okay, so in that case, even if a student doesn't perform well, even if somebody is poor, or if somebody is not able to go to school, the online systems came into being, and more, most people start benefiting from the online system, online courses. If you go on the internet now, there are a lot of many courses by various higher institutions talking about it, to take up the online courses. You can take up online courses at diploma, certificate, a bachelor's degree, master's, and PhD. Okay, so all these are available, and the people are free now to take these courses. Okay. So we like as early as 1970, we saw Nkumbi College of Education which had a popular with the micro teaching using a television monitor. So Nkumbi College, they started doing at their own pace, okay? Uh, this is a government school, college, and uh, they started doing at their own using the micro teaching technique, okay? And they were using monitors. These are the monitors that they were using to, you know, to, to help the students have that understanding. Okay, so that, in that line now, we saw an increase in the number of population students eroding for courses, okay? For courses that, you know, were done online, okay? So this is the usage, or this is how we have been exploring, this is how all this, you know, education technology started evolving now from, from that to this age, okay? So we are saying that further, we are saying that the technology, okay, as a discipline, it has been studied at both the undergraduate as well as postgraduate levels in Zambian universities. So colleges of education, education technology, micro teaching are all courses that students can take and pass before graduation. So all colleges are mandated to establish the center of education technology for the purpose of supporting teaching and learning online. So it's, it's upon the, the, the universities, the higher institutions, or the colleges or universities to embrace education technology in their curriculum and ensure that they are implemented. So we are saying that maybe today, what is the situation today? So we are saying the development of education technology is as assumed multi-dimensional. So meaning that this education technology really has really moved. Mount means many, many, many dimensions. In what forms? In different forms. Okay? So because there are many, many things that are involved. And there are many components that are involved. So this has really has that multi-dimensional. So, so making efforts to integrate technology into the education system. So institutions of higher learning, as well as other levels of education, are seriously committed to perform through agencies like Teaching Services Commission of Zambia. Teaching Services is one of the agencies that is monitoring the education system in the country. 
Okay, so this is very, very important. And uh, as I'll be winding up uh, this, we are saying that the education technology comes as of age in Zambia and it has really moved from being an idea to a fully fledged university program. Okay, it started from somebody coming up with idea and then later moving to fully fledged university program whose function are widely acknowledged and are essential and are needed for achieving the purpose of what it is intended for. So further to this, or in winding up this, we are saying attempts have been made to document the historical development, the historical development of education technology in the country and the, how the whole process is started. Looking at the key periods, we are looking at the period of pre national period to the you know measuring activities okay so so the contributions of the higher education and the involvement of professional bodies started now contributing to education technology to make it more active in delivering the teaching as well as also the learning processes so that learners wherever they are they are able to acquire the knowledge that they need Yeah, so that is, uh, I can wind up for, for, for this lecture, but uh, the emphasis is please, let's discuss, let's make sure you have that systematic way of understanding the development of education technology in Zambia. And then maybe there are also, look at the references, look at the, the materials that are available also on this specific topic to help you to have a broader understanding of, of the topic. I say thank you, I'll come back for, they are break for now.